Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of model actress Yvette Nelson. So stay tuned and I'll tell you how I put the thing together, what was involved, and tell you some extra pointers on how to get a fabulous shot like this. So welcome back. Now how did I get a fabulous photograph like this of Yvette Nelson? She and I were emailing each other and uh, we decided on a date for me to pop over to her place and shoot some content for a website she was uh, putting together at the time. We did a bunch of different sets throughout the house because she had a pretty nice location. And in order to get uh, these kind of images, we went to the back side of the house where the sun was coming down. Now I thought to myself, you know, hey, the sun's coming down. I got a few minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Let's see if we can pull one last set off. Now we decided to go with some sexy lingerie on the back of the patio area there where the decking was. There was a nice chaise lounge that uh, Yvette could use to pose and uh, give me some looks from uh, being on the chaise lounge. Uh, so when you, uh, when you look at a location, look around and see how you can get your model to interact with some of the, uh, the items that are on the property, either chairs, table, or some other form of something that a model can use to sort of interact with. And there's nothing more easy to interact with than something like a chaise lounge, uh, because you can straddle it, you can lie on it, you can crawl on it, and you can sit on it, and you can do all kinds of things. So that's what I did, was we positioned this on the patio area, on the decking, as you can see right here. The light that was there in that space was pretty warm and it was getting pretty low in the sky, but I could see some light bouncing through, as you can see in this picture here, through the trees and give me a little more warmth, which I thought was uh, sort of an accent light, which I kind of liked. So I mixed that into the whole lighting situation, if you want to call it that, or the light that was available. So we've got um, the diffuse light bouncing around everywhere as a major fill. We've got some accent light, and then what I decided to do with the camera was to turn on the on-camera flash that I had at the time and just give it a little kiss of light. Now, the great thing about having the little flash, not only did it just give me a little more push so that I didn't have to make my ISO go too high. I was actually at 400 and if I'd gone any further I think I would have gotten a little bit more of a grainy kind of a look and I didn't really want that. I wanted it to be sort of soft. The look there was coming together with all the light and with that just a little bit of tiny flash we got as you could see in her eyes a little catch light and that was really important for me to have something like that because it made the eyes look as if they were a little more alive and not uh, just blank and dark. Now, as Yvette was sitting with the house behind her, I could see right in through the windows and the rooms back there were dark. Even though I was shooting ISO 400, I was still getting dark from behind of her and I felt like it looked like it was just kind of a hole back there. So I got my assistant to go inside, turn on some lights and being that they were incandescent lights, they were also going to be warm as well. So it was kind of cozy back there. And it also gave the idea that somebody was at home. Balancing the light on the inside so they didn't look all dark behind her. Having her work the chaise lounge and give me different positions, different poses, which is great when you have a professional model because they can just go through their poses and get a whole bunch of looks in a very, very short period of time, which is really great. And I only had that 20 minutes to work with, so I needed to just really be on the money. And with the fill that was coming around, that just sort of gave me an overall warmth and uh, I was getting the look that I wanted. So that's primarily how I balanced it all together with using flash, incandescent light inside the house, sun setting, giving me a warm light with a little bit of sunlight bouncing in through the trees to give me a little accent light. That's how I managed to pull that all together and get this great look as you can see. So if you wanna create that, just remember, try to balance all your lighting, get it all together and go after the look that you are thinking about or if you sort of discover it in the camera as you're working through the process to get the exposure that you want. Now, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there, some stuff that might inspire you into doing some of your own. Got great photographs, and also I describe to you how I went about putting the photos together. You can also follow me on Instagram and subscribe, leave a comment, and if you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, I think it's time you subscribed and I can keep on telling you 
more stories behind the picture. So all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Thank you.